Hey guys, welcome back to Ori in the Blind Forest. We are trying to escape the Forlorn Ruins, and this is quite a tricky level. Just like uh, the Ginzo Tree Escape, this one is also quite difficult. Ow. Okay, so we have escaped the Forlorn Ruins and uh, we've jumped off of Kuro's nest. Now we do need to escape Kuro. As soon as we step out into the open, uh, she's going to attack. So we need to dive down under the water. And uh, just make our way across to this section here.
Okay, so we need to head up to Sorrow Pass, and we are uh, currently a long, long way away from that. Um, so Sorrow Pass, we get there by going up the Valley of the Wind, and just up the top here. There are uh, a few places where we do need to go past, um, just to pick up a few extra bits and pieces, like uh, over here. So we're going to do that, and uh, pick up a few things along the way. guys for now. Uh, we do want to oh, yeah we do want to, to get to get this uh, roller exploder character. If we go a little bit further he should come on buddy. Come on mate. What's your dealio? He's 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 ignoring us this time around. I don't know why is it oh there we go. Oh Okay, so let's see if we can get him a little bit quicker this time. Send him across. Hopefully he's... yeah. He's blowing up that wall and there is, I think, a map stone over here. Which is probably going to be useless to us. I think we've explored everything anyway. We have. Okay, but that's where it is. Okay, I took a lot of damage there, more than I would like, but uh, we do have the spirit well here that we can uh, save and uh, heal up. Okay, so we have the spirit light container just here. We're going to grab this, uh, then, oh, then we're also going to have a look and see what's up here. I think there's a life cell here. Uh, we'll go and check it out anyway. If I remember correctly, there's quite a few spikes around here as well, as well as a spider. Here we go, this is the spot. And okay, there's an ability point here that we can grab. Beautiful, so we're gonna grab that. We now have three ability points. Uh, we're going to save the game, and I think that is pretty much it. There's a barrier here which I don't think we can get past uh, at the moment, so we just need to make our way. Well, there is something else over here, actually. So we're going to go back and uh, go and check that out.
Uh, actually, we did want we did want one of those uh, vultures in here. Um, see if I can draw one out. I do want this one through here. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Okay. Cool. So it's actually going to help me to ah to get up, so I can get uh, the spirit light container here as well. We took a bit of damage on the spikes. Hopefully, it's not going to. There we go. It's going to be okay. Let's just head up and across now over to the right and, and kill ourselves. Uh, let's try that again. Let's head over here to the right. Uh, try and avoid. It's quite hard with a, a keyboard. Okay, we do have to worry uh, uh, quite a bit about environmental damage in the Sorrow Pass. Okay, so we're almost at the Sorrow Pass. This is quite a tricky uh, section, it's quite a large section, and uh, also there are spikes absolutely everywhere, which is really crazy. So let's just fly up here as fast as we can. There's a secret over here, uh, another spirit like container. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good spot to uh, save the game, take a bit of a breath before continuing on into the Sorrow Pass. So let's just get up a little bit higher.